Good day, students. Um, on this clip, we're going to be going over three examples on mixture problems. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at the first example. Example number one it says um, Max desires uh, desires to obtain an eight percent acid solution. How many gallons of three percent acid solution should he mix with a ten gallon of twelve percent acid solution? to get the mixture with the desired concentration. Alright, so whenever you deal with mixture uh, problems, it's good to know the difference between the ingredients and the actual mixture or the product, okay? So I'm going to list the ingredients first and then I'm going to write down the, um, the mixture or the product, okay? So my ingredients, so that, <clears throat> my ingredients are basically what I'm going to mix to get the mixture, right? So my ingredients, ingredients like you're cooking up a mixture right or uh, what am I what am I starting with that's what I'm asking with asking for so desires to obtain 8% this is my mixture that is what I want so how many gallons of 3% so I'm, I have I'm working starting with 3% acid solution and to be mixed with 10 gallons of 12% acid solution. So I'm, I'm going to be mixing a 3% acid solution with a 12% uh, uh, acid solution. Okay? And my mixture, or you can call it product, a mixture or product as a result of mixing this, these two is going to be a um, an 8% acid solution. Okay? 8% acid solution. Alright, so it's good for you to know what you're combining to get what. So on the right side of your equal sign is going to be the mixture and then on the left side is going to be your ingredients, okay? So I like to make a table to solve our mixture problems. It helps a lot to help you organize your information. So let me go ahead and make a table and then we're going to fill in the variables as we go, alright? So start with our uh, table. Um, let me just write like this. Uh, on the first, on the first row of my table, I like to put um, the I like to put the amount or the volume, the amount, and then on the second uh, cell, I like to put second column. I like to put the concentration, concentration, and then last, I like to put the total. All right. And then here I like to put my ingredients first, and then I will uh, put my mixture at the last. So my first ingredient is a uh, 3% acid solution. Okay. So let's start with that with that one first. We have the, we're gonna have the 3% acid solution, and then we're gonna have the 12% acid solution, and then we're gonna have our mixture, which is an 8% acid solution. Okay. So um. So for the three percent acid solution, the amount, how many, how much three percent acid solution do we, how we, do we have? It says how many gallons of three percent acid solution? How many basically means we don't know how much acid three percent acid solution we're gonna need, so we're gonna call it x. X is the amount of three percent acid solution we need. What is the concentration of a three percent acid solution? X breaks your concentration as decimal, so three percent. That is the same thing as 3 over 100. And as a decimal, that means you move the decimal point forward twice. 1, 2, to have it over 1. So in the 1, 2. So 3% is going to be the same thing as 3 over 100, which is the same thing as 0 0.03 in decimal form. So to change from percent to decimal, you move your decimal point forward twice. Okay? Because you have two zeros, you're dividing by 100. So the concentration is going to be 0 0.03 and then uh, the total is going to be the product of the amount and the concentration which is uh, 0 0.03 multiplied by x okay all right now we're going to move to the second ingredient which is a 12% acid solution 
how much of that do we have? We have 10 gallons of the 12% acid solution. So the amount is going to be 10. Concentration. Do I put 12 here? Absolutely not. You have to express your percentage as a decimal. So 12% is equal to 12 over 100. To make this into a decimal, you move the decimal point forward twice. 1, 2. So it's going to be 0.12. So for your concentration, you put 0.12. 12% as a decimal is 0.12. The total is going to be the product of these two, which is 10 times 0.12. Okay? Alright, now um, for the mixture, which is the product, well, so let's label these two. See these two I just did right here? These are the ingredients. I like to put them first on top of each other. Okay? These are the ingredients. Okay? And then the last row will be reserved for your product, for the mixture, which is 8% acid. So how much 8% acid solution do we have? You just add downwards here, x plus 10, because yeah, volume or amount, is you have to add it, okay? They so have x plus 10. But I'm going to put a red li a line here just to warn you that you do not add the concentration, okay? I don't like that line. Let me... Let me use a different line. Uh, don't ever add the concentration because that's a mistake some people make. So I'll put a, a double line here. Do not add this. Okay, be really careful here. The concentration do not add, but for the amount you can add it. So, okay, so this don't add. All right, I want the concentration for the 8%. It tells us 8%. Do I put 8 here? No. 8% in decimal form is 0 0.08. All right, so I'm going to put 0 0.08 here. So my total is going to be x plus 10 times point zero times point zero um, wait a minute. Point zero eight. So yeah, so it's up there point zero eight. Uh, I kind of scrolled out, so I didn't see it. I was panicking. It's 0 0.8. 8 percent is the desired concentration. Excellent. All right. So now, how do we formulate our equation? To generate our equation, all you do is just you just add. You see this last row right here? This last row, you just add it downwards to formulate your equation. You just have the two ingredients added to each other to be equal to this last one. Okay. So one and two, you add it together to get the last equation. All right. Okay. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, so in equation form, I'm going to say ingredient one, total amount of ingredient one, which is 0 0.03 times x plus total amount for ingredient two, which is going to be 10 times 0.12 equals the total amount of the both of them together, which is going to be x plus 10 multiplied by 0 0.08. Okay? So you know this is fine to add downwards, x plus 10. This is fine to add downwards, but this one never do, never add this down. Okay? No, never add this vertically. All right, if I solve this equation, that will give me the uh, amount of 3% acid I need to generate uh, an 8% solution. All right, so let's work this out. If we multiply here, we're going to have. 0.03x if you multiply uh, 10 by 0.12 you can use your calculator it's going to be uh, just move the decimal point once 1.2 distribute 0.8 to these so you have 0.08x and then 10 times 0 0.08 is is a uh, plus 0.8 which is just what you get when you move the decimal point back once all right so to solve this, I want to put half all the x's on the on one side and the numbers on the other side. So uh, uh, this is a bigger x value, so I'm going to subtract 0.03x from both sides. And I will proceed to, um, I will then subtract 0.8, because I want this 0.8 on the other side, right? So subtract 0.8 from the left and subtract 0.8 from the right, okay? I'm, I'm doing two steps at once. Moving the x's to the left, to the right side, and moving the numbers to the left side. So, 
when I do that, I'm going to have um, on this side, these ones are opposite, so they add up to zero. These two, 0 0.12 minus 0 0.8 is 0.4 equals, and then if you combine these two, you're going to have 0.05x, and this add up to zero, so they cancel out. To get x by, your, by itself, you divide both sides by 0 0.05, divide by 0 0.05. Uh oh, what is this? You're right as well. Okay, now, uh, getting there, we're going to have x equals 0.4 divided by 0 0.05. Let's fire up our calculators uh, and work this out. Where's my calculator? There you are. Okay, so um, there it is 0.4 divided by 0.05 gives you 8. So that's our answer. Um, x equals 8. Okay? Alright. So what does this answer mean? Well, it means that the desired amount, we need uh, 8 gallons of 3% acid solution. So we max, max needs um, 8 gallons of 3% uh, acid solution, acid solution, it needs 3, 8 gallons of 3% acid solution to get, to get uh, an 8% acid solution, okay, so it needs 8 gallons of 3% acid solution to obtain and 8% acid solution. Alright? So, so there you have it. Alright, so thanks so much for taking the time to watch uh, this video. Please subscribe to my channel here um, so you can get the subsequent parts to this video. I have uh, two other parts to this major problem. If you subscribe so you can get updates for those. You can also share this video with your friends via Facebook or Twitter. Or even Google Plus. More videos can be found on MyTwitterTV.com. Thanks again, and have a wonderful day.